Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Modest. I do well to join the family if you haven't. And to my returning subscribers, the Modest Nation, I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Thank you for your massive love and support. This is a reaction video. <laughs> You that just clicked to watch this video, you made it. You and I made it. Yes, we are back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere, mad people everywhere, eh? Passport brothers everywhere, passport bro everywhere, passport C everywhere, liars. Hey, they sit down on the live stream and they are lying on like layers of lying, laying it out like chapati, if you know what I mean. Thank you for coming back, guys. Hey, I see your beautiful comments. I see your invitation. June, all of you guys, I can't even wait to enter Yankee. Like, seriously, like, seriously, I will be jumping from one state to the other. You see this life, eh? Mm. Never say never in this life. When life throws lemon at you like this, you will carry it, slice it, slice it, slice it nicely, and make yourself a nice lemonade. What is this? Lazy people everywhere. If you love me, I love you. Woto, 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 woto. I love you back to back, back to back, back to back. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Crazy people everywhere. Desperate people everywhere. Mad people everywhere. Eh? Mad backing dogs everywhere. Chihuahuas up and down. They fool the street. You guys should be on the lookout. Too. You guys should be careful. Have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. We can't do this. You guys, you know already. You know what time it is. Let's run it, let's run it, let's run it sharp, 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 Who made it to the table again? Of course, Ogamarua, our password brother, <laughs> with confirmation. You guys, you know we bring receipts here. We don't just sit down and be telling you, you know what, I'm not lying, truth, truth, true fact, you know what, true story, real fact, I'm not lying, this is this, this is Mm -mm. We freaking show you guys the proof so that you will believe. Yes, the CEO of Passport Brother is Okamaro. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, we are coming to that side. Who else is on this table? Austin, holy man. Is he really holy? Like his second name says. Austin, holy man is American Passport Bro. Hey, I think this one is vice chairman after Okamaro. He's the next. He's currently in Africa, East Africa precisely. Guys, hey, when I discovered this one, one of the lazy members, shout out to you, baby girl. You know yourself. This lazy member was like, Coco Mama, come, come. Hey, hey, we are having something else. We are adding more stuff to this table. Come and see you. Hey, guys, when I went, <laughs> I cannot believe what I said. I said, hey, who did this to us? Is this not looking like what we have experienced in the past with our what? East African sisters? A dude came, came after more than 100 ladies, infecting them with stuff, infecting them with this virus that starts with the H. This H virus, hey, H virus, like this. Even carrying their pictures, full everywhere. Give me this worry, give me this anxiety when I saw this Austin holy man. I said, Holy man, <laughs> fear people that will come and tell you, you know what? I'm not a passport bro. <laughs> I love Africa. Ever since I came to Africa, I've not noticed any racism, I've not noticed any hatred. I fear these people. You are saying it by your mouth, but what we are seeing on your channel is different. Guys, let's even start because I don't like when we are all over and all over like this. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, right? You guys should leave me alone. Leave me alone in my small corner. Let me be keeping it real here. Guys, Austin Holy Man, hey, is a new passport bro. You want to doubt it? Let's run it. Someone wrote this to him and said, maybe look into hiring a local security guard for a few hours when you go to the clubs. That will impress the women even more. Eh? Hey! <laughs> that will impress the women even more. Not your girlfriend, right? When you go to club as a gentleman, either you're going with your girlfriend or you're going just to relax with, like, 
You know, expected to go there and then come out with handful of women. Eh? Is that one not a sign of passport, bro? Keep you safe from jealous locals. Why are the locals getting jealous in the club? Obviously, when they notice something not right and they know you are a foreigner and you are already doing too much, that's the only time the, the local people will come for you and be like, we can't sit here, even though this lady might not be my sister or might not be my relative, even though these ladies, I may not know where they come from, even though they may not even be Kenyans, but for the fact that they are East African, probably they are from Somalia, probably if they are from Eritrea, probably they are from Ethiopia, for the fact that they are our African sisters, we need to freaking protect them. So that's why the locals do what? In the club, they come for these passport brothers because they are doing too much. Okay? This is good stuff. Instead of the same old tired content, A, B, M are showing in SE, Asia, DR, and South America. You are showing dating options in Africa. He is showing dating options in Africa. Is this one now sounding like Baba Marwa snitch? You guys should be reasoning it now. Make this thing make sense for me, like uh, Americans will say. Make it make sense for me. You guys should be reasoning it with me. Is it not making sense that this person is actually pushing him towards this passport broadening? Showcase women, show us how different, you know, how you relate with different women from different cultures across Africa. Guys, hey, all you have to do is travel to a different African country and show beautiful women in the clubs and the channel will do well. Hey, no niche, right? Be safe and enjoy. This person that wrote this to him, obviously, 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 is a sex trafficker. This person that wrote this to him is obviously a wicked soul. And guess the reply that Austin gave this person? Not a bad idea. And someone else again said, I suggest bodyguard flood. So there's already a bodyguard called flood in Kenya. This person is giving her up to Austin in case you are going to hire a bodyguard. Use a bodyguard by name, flood. Guys! I thought I have seen it all. You know my worries, guys. I'm not even worried about a, a brother, African-American brother, you know, rooting and coming back to connect to his roots. This is what we have been praying for, for them. You understand? Most of them have not even been to Africa before. So they need to touch the motherland. It's a good thing. We, they are welcome. Even in Ghana, as soon as you come back from America as the black American, you are getting a, a Ghanaian passport. The deal is like that. They have their full community, they have their community there. Even in Nigeria, it's also like that, especially after DNA tests. Uh -huh. you, you guys know that there are a lot of them, like famous, I don't want to start calling out their names here, but they have shared their story that they are uh, half Nigerians. Like, there's a famous pastor, okay? He's Ibu. Mm. So, we, we don't have any problem them coming, but not coming to take advantage of our women. Why are they doing this in East Africa alone? Why are they doing this? Something is not right somewhere. You guys should make this thing make sense to me. Can't we learn from Mike Oliver? Mike Oliver came to Kenya and infected more than 100 women with a virus called H. Eh? And on top of it, Expose them online. Root nonsense about them. And is there any updates regarding this about Mike? Because we need to know whether he has been brought to. We need to know if you have any update regarding Mark Oliver. The, the Muzungu Oyibo that came and did all kinds of atrocities. Took different ladies to club, promising them marriage, you know, taking advantage, taking pictures of them. He made sure that he captured each and every lady that he was with. And guess what he did? He put their pictures online. Guys, and then started yapping rubbish that he was told that East African women are cheap. He didn't know until this, until that. 
tell me where something like this is done. This is looking the same because I watched another video of his. But guess what was happening there? Different ladies, he was recording them. And I can guarantee you that some of these ladies were not comfortable because most of these ladies, their parents are not aware that they do clubbing, like they are party animals, basically. Most of them may have been sent to boarding school by their parents. So in this case, they don't even want their videos to be out there that they are in the club because they are living this secret life. They are with this man hiding, like they, none of the relatives or family member will be aware of these things. And this guy is recording them. Something is not right. Someone again wrote this comment and said, Austin is the true definition of a passport bro. Hey! And if you go to his community, you will see stuff like, I'm not a passport bro. I'm not a passport bro. I'm enjoying Africa. Ever since I came to Africa, I've noticed that uh, there's no racism. There's no this. There's no that. Who did this to our girls? When are we going to start learning? That somebody came in looking nice and fresh. Because this one, at least, <laughs> compared to our CEO of Passport Bro, he's looking all good and fresh and yummy. And very, very, you can see that easily, easily, women will be attracted to him. So this Matt Oliver, this thing happened about a year ago or so. We need an update. What about this case? Has he been brought to book? Has he faced the repercussion of what he did to all these ladies? Because most of these ladies now, we don't know what they are going through, even emotionally and physically. We don't know how can someone, you know that you have this virus, you know that you have this sickness, instead of you to contain it to yourself and be on treatment, you are on a mission to spread it out. Wickedness, wickedness to the highest order. Let's watch this guy. Let's watch him. Hey, Let's watch watch guys. Hey. Tell everybody your name again. Hi, my name is... Where are you from? Kenya. Where are you really from, though? Really, really from? Yeah. Oh, uh, do they want to know that? They want to know that. Okay, so I'm from Tanzania. We came to the Just tell where you from. Uh, I'm from Kenya. Okay. I'm Kenya. Okay. Well, she's Somalian is what I was getting at. But I don't know how she forgot to say that. The way, um, Bank of America is, I'm about to take all my money out of Bank of America. I know I told you guys to get one of these before. I told you guys to get a wise card when you're international. I didn't follow my own instructions and Bank of America has locked my card up to the point where if I don't get the cash app donations you guys give me or uh, the PayPal's, I don't have any money to eat because they keep locking up my fucking funds and it's getting my nerves. So I'm taking all my money out and putting it in the Wise account. That way uh, I can spend my money anywhere in the world and go to any ATM and not have any international fee. Hello. Cash app is dollar sign Austin Holloman. My PayPal is Austin Holloman at Gmail. Guys, did you notice something here? He asked this girl to introduce herself. When she said her name, this guy muted her name. This guy cut off her name. What does that tell you? <laughs> he is up to something. He knew that this thing is what? Temporary. He knew that as soon as he finished with this girl, because of course he will make the money, Somali girl. If you look at the title of this video, and if you look at the views, you will know that he is on a mission. He wants the audience, exactly the advice that someone gave to him. Try different ladies from different countries. That is what he's doing. That's why he doesn't want to expose the identity of this lady because 
people will be like, what is going on? Tell us more about this. People will start searching and looking for all these ladies if he start letting them share their names. Because he doesn't have any intention of settling down with any of them. But of course, you will not know. Because off camera, he may have promised you A, B, C, D, E. But in his mind, that is not what he wants. Is this one not giving you Baba Marwa's vibes? If he's not giving you Baba Marwa's vibes, then I don't know. Because to me, this is exactly the same footstep Baba Marwa took. And he even said it very clear. Austin Holyman is a typical passport bro. On a mission, he already said it that he's gonna get a bodyguard. Someone advised him to do A, B, C, D, and he will be fine. So nobody would stop him from trying out all these ladies. Nobody would stop him from humping from one country to the other. And again, he announced on his community that he got a new visa to another East African country. Guys, have you seen it? Have Check it with the advice that someone gave him to try different ladies from different countries. Don't just stay in Kenya because you're not going to make it if you keep showing Kenyan ladies. You know, different, different Kenyan, it will now be obvious. Try to move from one country to the other. You guys should be on a lookout. We can't sit down here. God forbid that thing. We will sit down here and we'll be seeing these things happening in Africa. It's not going to be possible. We have to condemn this. Period. What is right is right. If you must get a girlfriend as an adult, get one girlfriend. And that's it. Why humping and jumping from... If you go to his channel, he has done videos with different ladies. Not even counting the ones that he met in a club. The group of ladies dancing and he was recording them. Same thing that Coco Girl is doing. Recording people without their consent. Okay, someone came to the club to enjoy herself. Doesn't mean that you own that person. Eh? Because you are a foreigner, it doesn't mean that you should be taking advantage of your own people. Like, what you're supposed to be doing in Africa right now is what Wodemaya is exactly doing. You will see him writing stuff like, oh, the media lied, this, 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 this. Africa is not what you guys think it is. It's easy to write these things. It's easy said than done. What is his actions showing now? He got a new visa to another East African country. To do what? To capture other ladies. Whether these people are protected, whether they are protected from STDs, we don't know off camera. How he gets to convince these ladies to appear on camera and be comfortable like this, we don't know. Guys, I am sick, 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 sick. Like, I'm shivering. I am in shock, like crazy. Like, I can't, I don't even know how I feel when I watch this guy. I cannot even swallow it at all. I hear him saying that he's not a passport bro. But in his comment section, you will see people encouraging him. You will see people complaining that he's not getting donation compared to when he was in Asia. When he was in Asia, people were supporting donating, but now that he's in Africa, he's been in Africa for several months, guys. Eh? It's not right. These people, they get comfortable. They feel like they are doing this as a content. Oh, we should. This is no content. This is sex trafficking. This is sex trafficking. This is like showing these guys, this is where you go and you will get them cheap. This is where you go and they will never reject you. This is how it looks like right now. Guys, I'm sorry. This will only happen in East Africa. In West Africa, they come to the club and they do stuff like this. Especially when this person is even a public figure, like a content creator, he, he will publish all these videos. You know, different with different ladies. I bet you, Wallahi, he will be caught red-handed, sharp, 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 sharp. Oh my goodness! I had a lot of issues yesterday. I hung out. Uh, there was a lot of women in the club, right? and I was the only dude sitting at my table for a while. And I had, uh, I had like five or six girls with me, and a lot of those dudes were not happy about that. So like, I. 
had, I had, I ended up having to push somebody because he grabbed me by my damn shirt. He lost his mind, um, and I, I tried to be as nice as I could, like you know, because girls like tell me you don't want them over here, so I told him, hey, they don't want you over here. You know, you can take a shot before you go. I tried to be nice, and then he got, I guess, his feelings hurt because I didn't have to leave. I told you guys to get one of these before. I told you guys to get a wise card when you're international. I didn't follow my own instructions and Bank of America has locked my card up to the point where if I don't get the cash app donations you guys give me or uh, the PayPal's, I don't have any money to eat. See how he's stylishly, <laughs> in a posh way, of course, <laughs> in a nicer way to his audience, telling you guys that wise card, which is American card that he's using in Kenya, is not working. <laughs> Who will verify that one? You guys should leave me alone. Let me be keeping it real. Who will verify it? The card is not working because of what? Because he's on a mission. And the mission is that he will position himself in such a way that you, the audience, you, the Donatus, you see, guys, you see where we're having problem with the Donatus Association. Eh? <laughs> hey! As soon as this dude will say that my wife's card is not working, you know, especially, of course, coming from America, I, uh, the, this American donut still will teach it like this. Hey! Our brother is in Kenya. Our brother is suffering in Kenya. We need to donate. Some of them will even call their friends. You didn't want to donate? You want to donate? There's a brother. You want to donate in Kenya? <laughs> hey! You can't do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. All of a sudden, his wife's card is not working. But PayPal. It's working. <laughs> we need more clarification, brother. We need to verify this one. Why is it not working? Why can't you troubleshoot and find out what is the problem? It's a Nesta card, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> Someone was even advocating for him. Why are you guys not supporting your own? Is he black hating on black? It's not about black hating on it's uh, black people. We are mean to ourselves. How can you do this to your sisters? I can understand if a Musungu is the one doing this, like what the, uh, this Mike did. I can understand. But not a fellow black brother humping and jumping and changing women like rapper in the name of uh, content. And someone is even encouraging you, instead of you to tell the person that this is not why you are here in Africa, actually you came to connect to motherland. Actually, you came to witness it firsthand and show your brothers and sisters in America that this is possible. If I can do it, they can do it. Because seven months, he's already there. Why would he enjoy? You donatus, you are sponsoring everything. You sponsor even when he goes to club. The fees, the drinks, you sponsor the air ticket. You sponsor the Uber. You sponsor the hotel. Why would he stay in, in, in Kenya? You sponsor, even when you see him jumping from one woman to the other, you are sponsoring. Guys, if you sponsor such a thing, you are also supporting. Don't come in the comment section and be condemning that what these guys are doing is not good. Oh, they are taking advantage of the women. Oh, they are doing too much. Oh, this, this is not right. Oh, they, mm -mm. If you are using your, if you use your hard earned money to support something like this, you are also supporting them. Even though it's not direct, but you know what I mean, indirectly. Now, let's look at the CEO of Passport Bro. It's not coming from me. Remember, we always hold them on the door like this and drag them like, like, be like, is this not coming from you? Is this not coming from you? Or are you waiting when Coco Mama talk about it, then you come and be complaining? What about you saying this? Is it not coming from you? Guys, we need to know about this Mike Oliver. Where is he? Is he rotting in jail or not? You can't sleep with more than 100 women. Not only you did that, you did not even do it and let it slide. And these ladies, what is going on? Eh? That somebody got a light skin doesn't mean that the person will solve your problem. Actually, that person you are neglecting, that person you are rejecting, Thinking that that person cannot be of help to you might actually be the one that will take care of you. And the person that you, everybody is rushing, will take advantage and be playing games with you. This is what this 
passport brothers are doing now. They can't settle with one woman. Especially when they are content creators. Because they want to show you different women. They can't just come and say, oh, I'm with this person. Oh, this Chichi is my girlfriend. Every vlog you will see her. No, passport brothers, they don't want to see that. Fellow passport brothers or those people that are hungry to do stuff like that, they will get mad. They will stop watching them if they stay with only one woman. You guys cannot see these things. And when a guy is recording you, can't you ask yourself, why, why is this person recording this relationship? Did he give me a ring? What did he even give me? Probably he bought food for me or bought a few things. And guess what, guys? These passport brothers, they are stingy, stingy. They only want to collect because they want to go far. They want to spread it out. So, and them spreading this kind of lifestyle, them living this kind of lifestyle takes a lot of money. The hotel, the movement, the clubbing, you know, the tickets. They don't even give fabric to these ladies. She's a shaka. In my dialect, we call it shackle. They don't give anything to these ladies. Sheesh, shackle, because this lifestyle takes a lot of money. Their movements, etiquette, from this city, to, from Nairobi to Mombasa, Mombasa to Yabahansa, to the Tanzanian borders, to this place. It takes them a lot of money, because it costs them a lot of money. They don't even entice these women enough. Like, they don't even look after these women enough. Because they are on a mission which involves money. A lifestyle that involves a lot of money. The hotel, ticket, transportation, food. So, and of course they have to keep changing. Their main motive on their head is, I must not settle down with one woman. Mm -mm. Love, there's nothing like love in their dictionary. They even put it out there. Let's look at the CEO of Passport Bros. Uh, is uh, I am a Passport yeah. Bro? Yeah, full time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my no, god! I am full time. trending now. It's trending yeah. a lot. Yeah. Passport no, bro. actually, I think I am the founder of that. The it's Passport trending. Bro. It's I'm it's telling you, like, for example, Keep Colombia. Left. People yes. go to Colombia. Oh, people 100%. who watch yeah, me. Yes. I swear before God, you, you open the door. You, sure. you cannot meet a guy in Colombia who does not know my YouTube channel. Yeah. Yes. Only that now I, I shifted because for the bigger picture, yeah. like now crossing this immigration, you know, the bigger you grow, you have to camouflage and be yes and fit in the society that is, is running. Yes. Otherwise, they will pull you out. So yeah, but I'm I'm full time passport bro. I he is full time passport bro. He is the founder. He is the CEO. He started it in Colombia, but because he doesn't want to stay in Colombia alone, he has to do what this guy's Camouflage. It's coming from Baba Marwa. You heard him right. You can rewind and watch. He has to disguise himself so that immigration will not have problems giving them visa. Now, how can Marwa now complain that uh, when people come online and talk trash about him, he will not get visa? How can Marwa now come back and complain that because of uh, negative reactors, that all these immigrations, they will not give him visa? How come he's complaining when he knew his problem as a passport bro that when they check the videos they can see that he's sleeping with different women and they can see his ideology, his beliefs towards women. They can see how he discriminates women of color. They can see how he is very selective on the kind of women he hangs around with. They can see all that and they will be like, oh, if this person comes to my country, this is exactly what he's going to do. Denied. We're not going to allow him to come. So what, what brand defamation is he talking about? What? I don't understand. You guys should make this thing make sense to me. I don't understand when Marwa says, oh, these people are destroying me. These people are preventing me from getting brand deals. Because when they do all this negative stuff, people will come and watch and they will deny me visa to their countries. They are denying you visa. You, you just said the reason why. They are denying you visa because you are a passport bro and now you are trying to pretend and they can still tell even when they have seen this clip they will still know that you are trying to pretend but that is who you are and thank you for confirming it this is typical uh, example of what we are saying that this guy doesn't have respect for women it's as simple as that 
doesn't want to settle down with any woman at all. More selective. If you are not colored with flowy hair, you are out of the business. Probably if he will even do something with you, he will not bring you to camera. Maybe he will do corner corner with you and push you aside. Ah, you guys, wonder shall never end in your hands, the guys. Are you not seeing what I'm seeing? Is it not making sense to you guys that these guys, they now use this traveling vlogging for something else? A new way of taking advantage of women. A new way of destroying women. Are you not seeing it, guys? A new way of, you know, disappointing a lot of women. Like, fuck it, once you move, that's it. Coco Boy is doing the same thing. How many women since he came to Colombia have we seen him with? And that reminds me, someone uh, during the live stream of Coco Girl told Coco Girl, don't you think Coco Boy would be jealous seeing you with another man? And Coco Girl said, you know how many beautiful women he has showcased, how many beautiful women he has brought to his channel, which is right. At least Coco Girl has only showed this guy. And it wasn't even her intention to show this guy, this Burundi guy. It was her friend, Susan, that exposed her. She wanted to keep it private, even though she kept saying, oh, my Burundi boyfriend, my Burundi boyfriend, my Burundi boyfriend. Guys, hmm, we need to be on a lookout. When you see things like this, I like any of the lazy reactors. We are not just settling on one side. We are all over. Probably something like this might even be happening in West Africa, we don't know. Even if it's happening outside Africa, we will still come here and tackle it. So long as it has to do with women, we will come here and tackle it. This is not done anywhere. This is not right. You can't exploit and take advantage of women like this. It doesn't matter which race. We deserve better. As women, we deserve better. And yesterday, during our premiere yesterday, JB Bonite came and he got the heat. He's still not getting it, he's still denying it. JB, we've got nothing but love for you, but what you did to D. Even D is even though D is not in our right book, okay? We still got issues with her and what she has done to us. It doesn't even warrant you doing that. You know, calling her monkey. When you were even with her, like, you thought that it was funny. And you keep saying that, show me the video, show me the video. If you check our reaction, Black Beauty reacted and shared the clip. I reacted and shared the clip. Um, AM Carol, so many of us reacted. So you freaking need to see that you did that and apologize real quick. Otherwise, this thing will get worse and worse than you expected. Guys, let's move to Coco Girl. Coco Girl was on a live stream with... Her Burundi boyfriend. First thing I noticed is they are not in Burundi, they are in Rwanda. Why? Someone asked me a question Was Coco Girl deported from Burundi? Why can't she go to Burundi and be with her Burundi man? Now, one thing I have to take note of is Coco Girl didn't behave well in Burundi. I'm not going to come here and assume that. Yes, 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 yes. Coco Girl was deported. Oh, Coco Girl is doing too much. Coco Girl, when Coco Girl was in Burundi, she did something very, very bad. She met police officers, men on uniform. She quickly started vlogging. Oh, this is for my YouTube. You will not expect somebody who has been in military to do something like this because they are also intelligent people. They are also worried a lot about privacy confidentiality there's security concerns there so Coco Girl did that I don't know if that has to do with her not being able to go back to Burundi or she decided to be in Rwanda and let her boyfriend come over to Rwanda because I'm sure they are all close so I don't know why she decided to go to Rwanda instead of Burundi to answer this person that was asking me but let's look at the live stream she had with this Burundi boyfriend. So I met this guy in uh, Burundi. You want to show? I have a problem when I see people with Rasta. I get confused. So I just take my beer and I put my beer next to him. 
and you don't pay attention to me. So I take another time and I put my beer like that again, and you don't care. And another time. Look at me, look this Muzungu, she wants you. Why you don't look at me? And uh, in the end, I just do like that. Cheers. Like if you don't see this uh, sign, I don't know what to tell you, brother, because I want you. So in the end, uh, after this cheers. <laughs> after the cheers, of course, they ruled it out. Guys, what do you think? Drop it in the comment section and let me know. Is it right for a woman to make the first move? or not. Me, as an African woman that I am, I feel like if a woman makes the first move, you are seen as cheap. The man will likely turn you down. The man will likely not take you serious. This is my African thing in me, okay? And I still believe in that till today. Because African men also, they behave that way. They prefer when a woman gives them hard time, like, oh, hard to get, that kind of stuff. That's the women they run after, actually, compared to the one that is showing them love, even spoiling them, buying stuff for them. They will still abandon that one and look for the person that gives them hard time. So, but Coco Girl is trying to say that she was the one that made the first move, giving him signal because of his dreadlocks. <laughs> Saying that he has a problem with men with uh, Rasta. He has a problem with Rasta men. Don't say you have a problem with Rasta. You know why? Coco girl. <laughs> Coco girl loves. <laughs> you guys should leave me alone. You see how you are making your Coco mama to be talking. Tomorrow now they will come and say that I'm laughing. I just said that Coco girl loves. That is what I said. I didn't say any other thing. You guys should leave me alone. Let me be keeping it real for you guys. What is this? No weird question. Travel finder. Do, I, do can I say something to Travel Finder? Yeah, you can talk. Uh, so Travel Finder, I want to ask you who gives these statistics about so many sicknesses in Africa? Is it Africans or Europeans? Who gives these statistics? And how are you sure that they have the correct statistics? So I can I can answer don't, to you. Don't bring issues here. Answer. I can answer to you. Uh -huh. um, I don't know the, what is really true, mm -hmm. but I can tell you as uh, I'm not a European, but as was Mozungu, this is the story. I don't know what is really happening. Yes. And the story. I, and, and we'll basically, the story. And yeah, exactly. And I don't know how, how really statistical in, in, in the white, but I can tell you as a Muzungu, this is the story that people tell us that Africa <coughs> full of HIV. Oh, and for what? example, before I come to here, uh, people, have, and even until today, my friend tell me, be careful, hand, be careful, uh, use protection because this Africa, is, blah, 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 blah. This is what happens when we Africans don't control the media, we don't control our own narrative. I want to say to this person, go read, go listen to a TED talk by this Nigerian author. She's called Chimamanda Adichie. She I love what Susan did here. Susan actually made me proud in this clip because she put it out there that HIV is a universal thing. It has nothing to do with Africa. Just look at this Mike Oliver, what he came to do in East Africa. He's not African, right? Looking at him, he looks Caucasian. I, don't, I wouldn't say I don't want to call any country and then I might be wrong. But what I'm saying is that it's not African thing. HIV is not African thing. It's a universal thing. Forget about what the media said and all the history and da 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 da. It has nothing to do with Africa. Yes. So Susan was right to correct Coco Girl here. Coco Boy will never recover from this video. Okay. And, 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 and uh, you know how much video he, he, he put with uh, uh, beautiful young girls? And I'm also recovering. It's okay, brother. Let's move on. Let's move on. What do you think? Everybody is recovering, my dear. <laughs> he sticks to attack. Some people also claim that they are still together. We don't know which one is which one. <laughs> hey, views. Anything is possible. Always remember that, guys. Yes, I said it with my full chest. Anything is possible with views. They can still be very much together. Like, they are doing this so that they will maximize the views. Okay? Hey, so that they will make more mula. And at the end, they will come back and be like, Oh, we are back together. Chance to speak. Yes, um, he don't know English. He don't want to speak. 
I really want that you speak. Yes. Baby, you want to speak? Yes, yeah, speak in English. You want to speak? Who is speaking in English? No, 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 no. No, no. Come. no, 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 no. You see, you don't no, want to speak. No, no. You don't want? No, me yeah, I speak in French too. You yeah. speak French. Speak yeah. French. No. Apana? Apana. Apana, where Apana? Apana, it's no, it's Kiswahili. I, I, you don't I, want to speak? Susan. Call Susie. Call Susie. People ask no, about Susie. 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 Susan. You know what is, you know why? <laughs> Listen. Choco guy is a lie. Your boyfriend knows English. Don't say that he doesn't know English. Because when you ask him questions in English, he responds. This is not the first time I'm noticing that. When you ask him if he wants to talk, if he wants to come to camera, he said no, no. He knows English, but he may not know enough, like some of us. So, I don't understand. No, I'm going to the embassy. Okay, let me share with you the next destination. The next desti the destination uh, will be uh, Ghana. Um, tomorrow morning I'm going to the embassy. I already been to there. Bring me. I want my, my, my other look. I don't like this. Help me. Um, yesterday, uh, today I was in Ghana embassy. What do you think? Like that? Or like that? He like me like that. Okay. So tomorrow I need to go again to the embassy and probably more very soon I will be in Ghana. Let me know what do you... Finally, Coco girl is telling us that she will be going to Ghana. Mm. Probably she already got the visa. Could that be the reason why she traveled from Nairobi to Rwanda? Because again, she shared that it's very cheap to travel from Rwanda to anywhere you want to go around Africa compared to Nairobi in terms of money. <laughs> you guys know, Coco girl loves money. Money, 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 money. Yeah, she doesn't play with money. Okay, let's see. Will you will be traveling be... with him to Ghana? No. Like I say, uh, we are not traveling together and it's really difficult for our relationship. Susie, I don't know um, <laughs> when it will be the next time I will see him. It will be really difficult. And I hope that um, because it's really difficult to me to manage a um, relationship from far. I tell you the truth, I'm, I'm totally authentic and honest with you guys. Even if he's here, we talk about it a lot together. I don't know if I can manage to do it uh, from far, but let's see what God will we, we want. Okay, does he have children? Look at my daughter. No, he, he doesn't, doesn't have, have children. children. So there's another thing that Coco Girl was saying here, which is a confirmation of what Coco Mama said. I said that I don't see this relationship going anywhere. Someone asked Coco Girl if she would be traveling to Ghana with her boyfriend. Coco Girl said no, 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 without even feeling anything. You know, facial expression can say a lot. You understand? There was no feelings attached when Coco Girl said that she was not gonna travel. Well, she didn't feel anything like she's gonna miss this guy. So what does that tell you? She's enjoying the moment. Because facial expression says a lot. I expected her to be like, oh, I'm going to miss her. No, she was just expressing herself. Guys, um, handling this from far will not be easy for me. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So she's already saying that I'm cutting the cords. Indirectly, she's saying that I'm putting an end to this once I freaking leave East Africa. <laughs> hey! You guys should leave me alone. That is why I'm also thinking that maybe she is still with Coco Boy. Maybe she even paid this guy so that they will act all this and get us talking, get us watching them. Who knows? Because for Coco Girl to say, I don't know, I don't know if this relationship will work if I'm not close to him. I don't know how we're going to survive it. You are already like saying that it's not gonna work. What about some of us in long distance relationship and marriage? How do we make it work? There's always a way out. It may not be 100% the best way, but there's something, especially with this social media era, internet and everything, it makes long distance relationship easy though i'm not a believer of one eh, eh. <laughs> i'm not a believer of long distance relationship or marriage mm -mm -mm. Eh, eh. i mean when you live with your partner whether your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend it's not even easy you know think of when you are not together hey especially after three months six weeks to three months and you've not seen this partner, forget about it. Somebody somewhere is servicing that person. 
you guys should leave me alone because I'm saying this is my IMO, my own opinion. Yes, if you have not seen your partner for three months, you are in a relationship, you have not seen your partner for three months, forget about it. Somebody is helping you to do that job. What is this? Lazy people everywhere. You guys should leave me alone. But if you don't want to leave me alone, oh yeah now, let's die here. If you love me, I love you. Wutu, 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 wutu. I love you back, 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 back. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Liars, eh? This liar. <laughs> this liars, eh? This lying business now. I think it's a new niche. Lying. Mm. What is my niche? Lying. Coming and cooking, you know, hallucination. Cooking stories, you know, let me put it to the let me, let me. I mean, forget that God is what watching. And God has a way of punishing people that do things like this. After doing this, you will expect that oh the video will go like 100 k Oh, look at what this woman said that these people did. You will expect that the video will reach one million views in 24 hours. They are still here with us, dragging the views. <laughs> hey, what that shall never end in your hands. Guys, let's end it with jump talk. It's a quick one because my time is telling me waka 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 move move move. This jump talk is this guy that met the Mwango in Ghana. Actually, he's the one that brought the Mwango. You need to go to his channel because I just dropped the video here. I don't want to bring his clip here because I don't want to come and put Sansan inside somebody's garden. We are all content creators. We are all here to find one small small coins, bread and butter here and there. You understand? So I want you guys to head to his channel. Shout out to you, big brothers. Just keep keeping on. Everything will be all right. The case is still on. You know what Baba Marwa was saying when he did this video for his sister? Let's listen to him. Liars everywhere. Liar, liar, liar. No wonder. Now they know their clique. Now no wonder he's endorsing this other lying group. <laughs> There's a guy who wanted to do that. I'll not say it because I don't have to create this whole story. And I came through for my sister like whoop. Now this guy hates me. He goes to the internet saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Marwa did this to me. Marwa took my money. It's all a hoax. Hoax. I have no time for, for small money like this, bro. If you're watching this. And he wanted to manipulate my sister. And my sister went found a lawyer and the lawyer told him let's meet in court he went quiet i see him shouting here and there and he knows he can be prosecuted he knows because he has no proof of anything and the funny thing is also my sister some men will pretend to be rich to just reach you guys this is baba marowa addressing this issue of jam talk is this how he's supposed to address this issue there's already a court case okay this guy shared with me the court order because there was a time he shared a whole lot evidence come and see evidence with account number food account details and everything he shared too much okay so what they did is they went to court and court ordered this guy to put down the video which he did he did it so the case is still on he just because of defamation or social media wahala that was the main reason why he put down that video. You can read it. I have the screenshot here of the court order. This was on the 3rd of October 2022. We were on this case. Black Beauty TV, shout out to you, handled this case. Did you hear Maro was saying that some guys will pretend to be rich to get to you? Some guys will pretend to be rich to reach you. Is that your strategy of reaching your audience? By telling them, guys, I have a lot of money. I am money. <laughs> I am money myself. I'm money back. You know, I'm a weather flood. Mm -hmm. I am a flood weather. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am richer than the richest. I am the richest person in Kenya, even richer than my president. Is that how you are claiming to be rich, to reach your audience? So this is the strategy. And that's why you're telling your sister. This is the strategy that I know that it works for me and men will use it against you. Is that what you're trying to say? This guy got too much. Why did you guys ask him to pull down this? Let's say he was lying. If he was lying, don't go to court. There won't be need because everything that he published will be lies. People will say that he's not saying the truth. So there won't be any concern of you asking for privacy by asking him to take down the whole thing. You're saying that he didn't bring any proof. Then why asking him, why court order? 
Your story doesn't make sense. If you want to address this, you need to come out, out of your shell, because this is another problem we're having with him. We cannot sit down and see these things, especially when this guy has shared and keeps sharing. And the case is still on. And Marwa is lying to his audience that this guy manipulated the acted rich to get to the meanwhile this guy invited d i said it here that they may have been in a relationship but of course this guy later on married a kenya and they have a child now so i can understand when he comes online to claim that it was just on business purpose like their relationship was based on business i can understand he may not want to hurt his current wife okay or something like that but even if they were in a relationship, business is business. Relationship is relationship. Bedroom stuff is bedroom stuff. Husband and wife, they join hands and do business together. Father and daughter do business together. Father and son do business together. Uncles, they do business. In fact, in India, you will see a whole family. They have one business together running with their children, with their grandchildren, everybody from the same business. So business is business. With the proofs, this guy was involved with this Airbnb business. But D decided because D used his name, being the local girl, and this guy coming from Jamaica, D took advantage of him and confiscated everything. Marwa is aware of it. That's why he's covering up like this. Oh, he took advantage, he manipulated, he's saying, first of all, when you speak your truth here, you are Marwa's hater. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait to meet Marwa in court. To be honest to you, I can't wait. Like, I'm praying that they bring that paper. I can't wait. This guy, once you speak truth, once you air your opinion, you're a hater. He will come and insult you and insult you and insult you and even forget, he will even forget the words that he has said. Is this one not madness? So guys, go to Jam Talk. Go support him. He's our Jamaican brother here. Go there and tell him you're coming from Coco Mama. You guys know. You guys don't disappoint me. You know already. He needs our support. He's into Kenyan vlogs here and there. He has very beautiful family also. We pray that he gets his money back at least. About 6,000 US dollars. Like what he is asking for now is something that Marwa and Dick can handle. It's not nice. How can you treat your fellow brother like this? Business is business. I'm sure this guy has done even more than this to Dick. Because for him to invite D to Ghana, sponsor everything. What does that tell you? He has a good heart. He cared for D. He was there for D. But in return, lost more ink. I don't know what this money, 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 money. Guys, donate. Our YouTube revenue is coming. Yes, we want donation, donation, PayPal, this, this. I don't know where we're going to take this money to. At the end of the day, vanity upon vanity we will all leave these things behind guys all right guys if you watch to this moment you know who you are you are the best the bestest the best thing that happened to this channel don't forget to give this video thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't tell your neighbor yes knock on the door of that your neighbor tell him or her yeah 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 we need you here or yeah subscribe so that this ministry will continue to boom and blow some. You got that good? We'll see you in my next one. Peace out. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. You be my queen, I don't need no rules. It's a love song, I don't need no blues. You be my sugar, I don't need no juice. Baby, loving you is a must, yeah. Whatever I don't get, I have no clue.